already. Good evening, I'm Althea Smith. I'm wrapping up for poetry. This is my poetry. I'm doing it for about two years and a little bit now. Uh, yeah. So, um, tell us first of all where the location is. Location is at Christian Pen, Anga Gully. Alright, so tell them your phone number now because yes, you raise table chicken, right? So they are for yeah. sale. So my my phone number is 489 7883. Alright, so they can call that number. Contact if they want me at chicken. that number if you want chicken. Jerk. Yeah. Tell them what's the price per pound. Chicken is $270 a pound, wholesale price, and retail $290. $290 per pound. Alright, so how long you say you have been a farmer again? one half years. Alright, so do you do this by yourself? You get help from your children, your spouse? Yeah, my fiance. Yeah, your spouse do yeah. it. Alright, so how much of the work do you put into this farm? Well, I put most of the work because it's a country during the week okay. and I'm alone during the day. Alright, so what specifically do you do? You can tell us now some of the things that you do or you can show us as well. To pick the farm food. Buy feed them, uh, water. We do all basically everything inside. Uh, when here. you say a pick, what do you mean? Like when you say a pick? Change out the all debris and put in new stuff. Uh, you use sawdust or sand? Sawdust. Alright, so how often do you actually clean the cob? Every three days we clean the cob. Every three days. Is that as a requirement to like make them grow big or you do that to keep down the scent? Keep Why? Keep down the scent and keep them cool. And keep them cool. Alright. So I'm looking at the water pan, right? And I say the pan for the feeding as well. It's the first time I'm actually seeing this. Was it something created by you or you saw somebody doing it? The pan with the holes okay. in it? Somebody created it for me. Because I see the, the fall when they, might, when they might eat the feeding, they might actually put them head put in them here. Head in between. Right, so, yeah. so that's very creative. It's the first time actually seeing that. Mm -hmm. So you saw somebody do it and then ask somebody to make it for you? Yes. Alright, so something like this now, somebody is interested in purchasing this year. Alright, we could have get car, them sell them also, and sell them to, in front of the bucket, and sell them to $1,000 one. Okay, and if you have the bucket, what's the yeah, price? I'm not really sure, but otherwise without the bucket. Okay, yeah, yeah. so persons, if persons are interested in this, them can actually drop in at the comment section and you can make the link. Yeah, man, right? yeah, Because yeah. I'm sure that this bucket will be, would be cheaper than the actual iron yeah, pan. Yeah, the metal pan, yeah. Can right? you just get a bucket or you get the eye buckle, four gallon eye buckle, design it just the same. You can go in there as well as you can put it as water pan just the same. Right, and it's, it would be good for people to support local, no so? Yeah. Right? A local entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So these chick chickens now that we are actually looking at, how old are they? Four weeks. Four weeks. So when you actually kill? Two weeks from now, when they are six weeks. So okay. every six weeks. Yes. So why you don't let them go over six weeks so they can get bigger and Sometimes get more weight? Sometimes we get more weight by just making them all go extra weeks. Seven weeks, after okay. the seven weeks. Yeah. So we get like eight pounds sometimes. Sometimes we get seven pounds. I'll do it as well. We do six weeks and get seven pounds, six and a half pounds. Alright. So since you get them so big at six and seven weeks i know that you must do something special i don't want you to give away a secret now you know <laughs> i don't want you to give away a secret over the internet you understand yeah so if you know you have your secret ingredient i don't want to tell me that you know but you can just share briefly what do you do generally to get them to that way but now give you a secret ah you think a bible <laughs> All right, so what does that actually do? Tell us, share with us. Clean them and build them. Clean them and build them. Okay, just like with us as, you know, people, yeah. we take like a sink of Bible and get like a cleansing. Right? All right, so you say you have water up now. So go on water okay. up and Jamari, let us see. Bucket, Jamari, wear your shirt there. I don't know why I'm yeah, not. Wait, put on back the bucket, Jamari. So go on now, you actually water up. Some people, I know that like when I say, best dress and cb actually advertising on the tv 
me hear them say no hormones and them things. You know, give your chicken them hormones and things. Yeah, because I realize that that is unhealthy, not true. Yeah. And them said that will cause breast cancer and all kind of other illnesses. Right? So, how, how often you actually water them up? Is it that you watch it to see if the water, water goes down? Them up as soon as the water is going down. Okay. Some people, some farmers will say that they actually turn off the light on them at night time to stop them from eating. Night. Right. And I left them with a fan overnight. Like to keep all them cool. Now, yeah. To get them cool during the night. Okay. I leave fan on them. Alright. So me realize that you actually also separate them. Because yes. these ones are four weeks. All of them here to the front yes. are four weeks. Yes. How old are these chicks? These chicks. These baby chicks are just one week yesterday, Monday. Alright, and the ones behind you? They are Yes, separate them. them. So, yeah. why do you separate them? Tell us. Alright, those ones are from a little son. This is Curry from a little son. Okay. Curry. This one? No, not Jamari. This one is not inside. Okay. Me. So, how much are your ones? Mm -hmm. I get none. <laughs> These are 200 right here. Right. You want them going to be six feet. They are 200 right now. Mm -hmm. You want them which is two weeks. Yeah. They are going to be. Um, how many actually in the two week region? How many? Two weeks, one mm -hmm. And you said this one for your son is how many again? 30. Alright, so me did ask you why you separate them. No remember if you did answer me. We separate them because 30 is for my son mm -hmm. and you want it for me. So is there a is there um a reason I'm thinking that um you don't put them together because you want to see them to say all right this set is going to be six weeks at this time this set is going to be six weeks at that time so you know one put them together yes, so you're not exactly, really sure exactly right right something like that yes. so the cook behind you that used to be for young ones or layers or something like that oh so you actually nurse, you have two nurseries okay so tell us a little bit more about the nursery. The nursery, I keep them in the nursery for six, for two weeks. Okay. And I put an heat bulb on them for two weeks. Yeah, keep the them bulb? warm. Yes, keep them warm. I don't know if I can actually step in yeah, the pen in my slippers. Show us the heat bulb. Alright, this is the heat bulb. Uh -huh. And you have your hand right here, you're temperaturally feeling the heat from it. Okay. Yeah, so, so this is what helps improve them. So it's important to keep them warm. Yeah, keep them warm for two weeks. Okay. So that helps with the, the growth and development yeah. as well. Yeah. Help right. fight against bacteria. Oh. Eat helps lick out the bacteria from them. So, okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So something like this expensive, like a heat bulb? No man, you can't get them like the two pair, two of them um, like for two thousand, like four hundred or two thousand dollars. The young ones get a special type of feed, right? Yeah, I give them fine grain feed. I so give this them is the same thing that they call the crumble. Crumble, crumble. Right. Okay. Cool. And you see that my nursery pan. Yes. I invent them. I cut off the bottles. I don't bother use them with a jar. Right. Right, so, so you make start, it shorter start, so them can exactly. actually go in there and eat yeah, and tea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, like this one now, uh, underneath the feed pan, you might have no, so okay much feather. A fight them fight? No, you're going to be a big pole. Oh, well, heavy before him, even six weeks. You can't get him all at six weeks, six pole. Wow. Yeah. So, that's anytime, a sign that they're going to be big. Yeah. Anytime you see them naked like that, them going to be have big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So when you actually kill, somebody store them for you. You store them yourself. Uh, my fridge where I store them. A fridge or a, a freezer? A two deep freeze. Okay. One at the house, one by my sister and the house. Alright. But right now, what am I searching for? 
mud mine if somebody could have helped me out with a picker, whether a contribution or something like that. But I'm looking forward for one for the year. Oh, so you don't have one you actually pick by picker. hand? Yeah, I pick by hand. Okay. So that is something that you'd really appreciate, right? Yeah, now. I would appreciate a picker. A picker. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anything else that you would want to tell me? And my waist, I store them outside. Mm -hmm. At times when the rubbish truck come, we give it to them sometimes. Right now, I have a farmer where I want them. Right, because I was so going to ask them, that. Because they, they use it for manure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is my table where I use to pick. The slaughter table is. Yeah. So, which part you actually kill them? Right yeah. here, so. Okay. Go for a night chicken, Jamar. Let me show you. Go for a night chicken. <laughs> so, you're killing yourself? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, you say, no, sir, so you're fearless I in the Gideon. What do you say? I want to write this. And I put him down in the back room. Right. Carry down his head. Mm -hmm. And then slash him. Through. Slash him. Okay. And then the blood just the blood run just out. Yeah. So which part you put the pot? The bird, we can jump the fire right here. So okay. I half a jump. Mm -hmm. And do anything. Set up water with ice. And get them cool. So whenever time we're ready, we put them back in the deep freeze now. Mm -hmm. Them already temperaturally cool, cool already. So, so is there a reason why you use the ice? Just to get them Alright, so during the day the sun is hot, so them have been holy for eating and them in mm -hmm. the hot water. So preserve them now, we use the ice to keep them cool. Oh, okay, so the ice keeps them cool and preventing them from spoiling. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Because my friends will do it already and by them done, I'm fridge them tomorrow, they must have spoiled chicken okay. because they're not gathering the ice that far. Right, to cool so them. When, yeah, so when the ice then at the drum with them, it them body get tough. Alright. Cool. Tell us your name again. I'm Altia Smith. And where are you located? Bangor Gully Christian Fen. Alright, run us your number again so if anybody number interested. Alright, run the price again. Wholesale and, and retail. The wholesale price is two seventy and the retail price is two ninety. Okay. How much do I have to buy to get the wholesale, wholesale price? Wholesale price is over hundred pounds. Over hundred pounds. Alright then, thank you and all the best. I'm hoping you get the picker. Uh, that's one thing where you say you really need. So anybody out there, she's in need of a picker. Whether it is professionally made or a local person make one, she would appreciate it. Uh, yes, thank you, I'll Farmer Altia. Alright, you go. Jamaria, you next, right? Sir, go. Alright.